Hey guys, PJ here with Exotic Car Hacks, and today we're going to talk about if I got ass raped buying the latest half a million dollar Rolls Royce. But first, do you think this shirt makes me look fat? Like, leave a note in the comments. I feel like I've gained some weight. I always said the only way you really know if you've gained weight is if you can still see your cock if you look down. If you can't see your cock, then you pretty much know it's not good. Anyways, back to what we were talking about today, and we are talking about a Rolls Royce. You, you see how I said that? I said Rolls Royce. Some people are like, it's not pronounced that way. But I will tell you, it is pronounced however the fuck you can afford it way. It, why are you laughing? Yeah, my videographer always laughs at me doing these videos. I don't, I don't know what it is with people, you know? Just no professionalism these days. But anyways, so we're talking about this Rolls Royce and this is quite special. And no, I'm not Doug Marino. This isn't a 2020, yeah, we don't care. This is a 2021 Rolls Royce Wraith, but it's quite special. And I'm gonna tell you what makes it special. I want you to come over here and see something before we even get into why this is absolutely amazing. And it's this little thing here. You see this? It says Cryptos 1 of 50. You see, the Rolls Royce Wraith is now discontinued. That's right, they no longer make this car. Not this edition, but the two door Rolls is done. And Rolls has said they will not make another two door for a few years. So this means that this and the Don I own are now the final awesome Rolls Royce cars because the Ghost is kind of dated. Even the new Ghost is still kind of like eh. But these cars were cool and they're now done. And this is the best that the Wraith ever had to offer. Not just because it's one of 50, but it's quite special. First off, right on the surface, I'm gonna tell you what makes this unbelievable. So for those of you that have already Googled and you already know, then no one gives a shit. For people that don't know though, this is what they call a code type car, which means that there are codes all throughout the car that share a secret. The secret apparently is so special that only two people in the world know what it is, the designer of the car and the CEO of Rolls Royce, and it's supposedly kept in a safe. So what am I talking about? Well, this car is called a Cryptos. Now, just so we're clear, I am not, and in no way have I ever endorsed crypto. This is spelled with a K, not with a C. Just making sure we clarify that. Two, however, there are certain things about this car, like I was saying before we got sidetracked there, such as the incredible paint, which is actually not gray. It has a hue of blue in it, which is unbelievable. It's the hottest paint I've ever seen. There's also logos and symbols all throughout the car, like around the spirit of ecstasy or in the painted stripes on the side. You see on the surface here, you can see there's a blue stripe, but if you look closely, there's also an exactly identical gray stripe right under it that blends in with the paint, but yet creates this hidden code that all the way here has multiple layers and it's unbelievable. And inside, you'll see an entire dashboard that has this beautiful pattern right here on the wood. Right here on the wood, you'll see this beautiful pattern, but if you look at it under certain light, certain symbols start to appear. So there are all of these cool things that make this car just unbelievable. But I think what makes it even more unbelievable than anything else outside of the headliner, which I'm gonna show you, which is just unheard of. But what makes it really unbelievable is really the paint combination. Very few people would have thought that this Nardo gray with a blue hue and a Tiffany blue line and some Tiffany blue accents really made such a big difference. And it really does. This is probably the most striking piece of art I have seen yet in the automotive world outside of that specific Pista. So you see, I love artsy cars. And while I love like the aggression on the SVJ, it's not as artsy as that Pista or this car. Now on the outside, it's really what makes the car different. You'll have a lot of black lining, just like the black badge, but it still retains a lot of carbon, a lot of uh, polished pieces like you'll see here and the new 2021 grill, which has the slats in the middle in black instead of all chrome. And you'll also see the newer 2021 headlights, which are darker uh, instead of the, again, chromish look. Huge difference, very, very upscale, looks fantastic. Uh, the Tiffany pieces at the bottom really makes 
the experience of the car younger and more exciting. And so, you know, you, uh, you really get the design features of the Wraith and everything that made the final edition that started back in 2019, really because it has the same interface, 2019, 20, and 21. And this is really the best that Wraith had to offer. And it's now in its final package in the most beautiful version that it had to offer. Now these wheels are Vossen wheels. They've been added after and matching exactly the same ones I have on the Dawn. Uh, retains the RR center caps. The factory Cryptos wheels have that little insignia around the wheel, which is the Tiffany, which I wish these could have, but those are gray and this is not. So in this case though, these are 22s. The original ones are 21s. On the outside though, you'll notice this internal part. And I wanna show you here, if you come forward, right back there, you'll notice that the bottom there is completely blue in the pockets and it's just absolutely beautiful. The floor mats retain the $5,000 plush floor mats that are unbelievable. The wood has that special cryptography all over it. And the cryptography is meaningful. Like right here, you'll see cryptography right in the seats. And many people would say, well, why doesn't it say RR? And the reality is it does. It just does in the cryptography. So in other words, it says RR in the code. So really, really fantastic. Uh, it's available in two colors with the interior being basically black or white. I thought the white was more artsy. It gets dirtier, but it's not gonna be daily driven, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but the, it really, really makes the car more than anything else. And it, the best and sickest part of it all is right here. So I want you to come here with me and take a look at what makes this unbelievable. Look at this. It is just spectacular. It is the most beautiful headliner World Choice has ever made. It's got this incredible headliner that's Tiffany blue and the pattern in the code keeps changing on its own and it's unbelievable. And it creates an experience regardless that you look at it from the rear view mirror or from inside or outside the car that is unrivaled in any Rolls Royce. You also get the bespoke grills on the speakers which give you the better sound system and create again an immersive experience that I can't describe. And it could be that I'm getting older or that you know I'm looking more for cars to get blowjobs in rather than the uh, race cars, but it is probably one of the greatest, most artsy cars I have yet to sit in and appreciate, uh, especially from a color quality and craftsmanship standpoint. I love Rolls Royce from a craftsmanship standpoint. They've been better than any other marquee out there. And one of the things I love best about them is their attention to detail and how much they care because this car shows it. And while some people would argue that the Wraith is kind of getting dated, which I think is why it's been discontinued, it is the best of what once was. And I think that's why it makes this car so special. And so let's talk a little bit about why I personally bought this car. I tried to buy this car for seven full months. I pursued it, it was stuck in Naples uh, at a dealer that just refused to give me even a dollar off. And here's a tip for those of you that wanna know how you get huge discounts on cars because I got a significant discount on this car, almost the entire front money off the car, even though it's special limited. But here is what you have to do. First off, take a look at the listings that are online and look whenever one is reduced. Whenever a car is reduced and it's brand new and it shows that there's some kind of special discount on the car, it means that the dealer is now willing to negotiate on that car. And it should be a good sign for you that this is the right car to start addressing or try to call on. And when I saw that this car had been discounted $15,000 online, I knew it was the right time to call and it made sense to call, which is why I did, and ultimately ended up here uh, in my garage. It was located in Naples, they literally delivered it. Incredible experience with Rolls Royce Naples, so no issues at all there. But I wanted to just tell you guys uh, about it a little bit. It is a $450,000 sticker, uh, which is very high. It's basically Dawn money for a Wraith. Uh, but there are discounts if you're good enough at finding one, but used dealers don't seem to want to move. There's one other one for sale in uh, Connecticut and they wanted full sticker even though it was used. So getting so much off a new one just made sense. Now, what is my plan? Am I going to flip this? Am I going to drive it? This is my personal car, so it is not going to be flipped just yet. I'm going to be driving it for the next year at least and see where it goes from there. But for now, I still think this is the safest and the best Wraith investment from a newer car standpoint, four year warranty, uh, one of the best of its kind. And of course, for my personal cars, as you can see from in the garage, I like very unique cars and this fits the bill right there. Now, did I sell my Don? The answer is absolutely not. I still plan to retain my Don. That's why I got the exact same set of wheels for this one. So expect some incredible shoots and follow me on Instagram if you haven't seen it. Again, do not forget, like, subscribe, and of course, leave a comment. Did my shirt make me look fat? 
No, I mean, leave a comment about the car. Did you like the car or not? Do you think you can get head in this or not? The answer is yes. Yeah, why, why you gotta nod your head like yes? Like, he, like you see Reggie always making, he, he's just not able to like keep the professionalism in the videos. First we had to cut out twice, now he's he, like nodding his head like he's like, I'm ready to borrow it for the weekend, I'll, I'll be back. And then it's gonna be like, Mikey and the boys ran the train in there. It's like horrible, you know, anyways. So did you just nod the camera at me? Ugh. Anyways, guys, so just like, comment, subscribe, and just, uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah, see you on the next one.